Good morning everybody. At the time you're watching this video, the markers will have probably just opened, however at the time of filming, we have about an hour to go. However, it does still give us enough time to have a look at the information and give a little bit of my personal predictions going forwards into today. So if you have seen these videos before, you will know the score by now. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on where we are, looking at the data from both Ortex and other sources, and then of course look at the share price to conclude my personal opinions. So, like I have said about three times then, it is my opinion, nothing more. Do you research come to your own conclusions because this is just what I believe based on what I am seeing you may have a different view of things it's just what I am seeing but if you do enjoy it as I'm sure you will do subscribe and share the video if you can because of course we are continuously trying to grow the channel to get the information out there but yes we jump in straight in now and we're going to start off by looking at the data that we have so being as we're on it already we might as well start off by looking at Stonko Tracker now, like I said, about an hour to go, but so far we've seen shares available to borrow being at only 700k, a drastic reduction on yesterday, however the borrow fee for these is still quite low if we have a look at this. So yeah, we're still seeing a lot of shares, it is still a lot of power, so do not forget that, but... It is a reduction from yesterday, which is kind of key to note. Now, we're going to have a look at the pre-market in a moment, but first we'll have a look at the update from JD Ruckus, who is on Reddit. He is the Ortex guy, as you will know by now. He's speaking about what happened on Closing Bell, posted 16 hours ago. That is because, being as the markets haven't opened at the time of filming, we don't yet have the opening data. It's fine, though. We can still see how this one wouldn't have really changed too much from this period yesterday. So, yeah, Closing Bell, what we're seeing is the short interest is too flat to reflect these volatile days. Uh, the current mood is that post MOAS I'm inviting my former investment co-workers to my place to rub it in. So we'll have a look at the two pictures in detail. There's a first, let's get a second up. So brilliant, again, massive shout out to the user every single day for posting this. But we'll have a look at this page first. So it shows us all of the data that we want to know. And we can see main things like the SI change is plus 0.79%. The estimated SI of free float, 21.34. So still very, very high, actually. Uh, the estimated SI overall as a number of shares is 109.54 million. The return shares for yesterday was set at 839k, with the borrowed shares being at 1.7 million, giving us a borrowed change of about 924.58k. The minimum for the cost to borrow is at 1.04 the maximum is set at 3.94 giving us an average figure of 1.55 now we'll have a look at the second page which shows us again somewhat similar data we'll start off at the bottom this time utilization for yesterday hasn't really changed in the past seven days because it was at 100 it still is so no change there at all and um, when we come over here to things like the cost of borrow an increase of 2.42 days to cover on loan minus 4.25 shares on loan is 0.05 increase uh, we've seen the free float percentage on loan as 0.04 change uh, to the inquiry side we can see the SI of free float estimated to be an increase of 1.05 and the exchange reported SI is 11.09. Now, I completely understand that a lot of people don't read too much into the Ortex data as a lot of data can be self-reported. I do completely understand that and I do completely agree. However, as I always say, I'm just going off the data that we do have and it gives us a rough idea of what we're looking at. So that's the reason why I keep pointing it out to you guys. But yeah, let's get on to the next thing, which is also quite important. Now, the pre-market sessions for AMC, sometimes they're quite lively, sometimes not so much. This time, neither way really. We're seeing a decrease of about 1%. I'll get onto why I think that is a big deal though in a moment. But first, we're going to see the volume figure, which is a before hours volume down here at 181k. Is that a big number? Of course not it's very very small and it's a relatively large move based on it now if we look at our ultimate drops this morning through the session we're hitting lows as low as the 19.3 range so about $19.30 roughly you've seen that all the way through this morning and we've dipped down there for a little bit of time back here so quite a big move for low volume and again, a lot can change in the time that the market is going to be opening. And by the time you're watching this, maybe things are different. But what I know is when we look out to the actual chart for AMC, we've seen this trend like I keep pointing out. And I think this could be the start of a little bit of a downtrend. Now, of course, I do hope I'm wrong. This is just my personal opinion, but I'll explain why in just a second. But let's just acknowledge the chart, right? All of this upwards momentum, and then we can see this one is hitting 20, not breaking above it. Then we have a big wick to the upside, not much to the downside. So it shows whilst this was a bullish candle, mainly we're having that pressure downwards. 
We're seeing volume not exceptionally high either. Yes, an increase on a prior day, but not exceptional. And obviously we cannot break past 20. Now, like you said, we're looking to break past 20 today still, but I do think it is on the high end. I think now is a point where they're probably going to start bringing this one back down um, because, you know, we're seeing the trend actually align with the downtrend. Now, again, I might be wrong and I do hope I am. But what I'm trying to say is, they have done this a lot in the past. They've brought it up, brought it back down over time to basically scare people. We could be seeing that happening again soon. I know it's something which I always bang on about, but it is a theory that I've believed in for a long time. And the question is, when is that next downtrend going to be? Now, initially, I thought it was going to be around here. Fortunately, it wasn't for too long. We pushed back up. But the question is, what, is 7, 1750 roughly going to be the bottom for AMC now like it was back here? Or are they going to try push this one down? Again, it's all about, in my opinion as well, how the markets are doing. Because when the markets are doing rough, it gives them that excuse to push it down as well. Because they can say AMC is falling because the markets aren't doing well and the stock's not doing well. But in reality, we know what's really happening. Anyway, long story short, I'm feeling optimistic for today as usual. But I do think this one could be the red day that we've been anticipating for some time. I'm not bothered if it is. I'm perfectly comfortable with it. And if anything, it's a perfect opportunity to buy more shares in my opinion. Now, of course, that is my opinion. Like you said, it's not financial advice. Make sure to make your own minds up. But that is just what I believe. So if you did find it of any use, make sure to do smash that like button and do subscribe if you can. But for this episode, guys, it's goodbye. So I hope to see you in the next one. So, see you soon. So thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon